Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the piston assembly for its thermal analysis. We will use the steady state thermal module of Answers Workbench. We will start by double clicking on the module. We will first go to Engineering Data, Engineering Data Sources, General Materials. I will choose aluminium alloy as the material, then I will go to project and update project. Next I will go to geometry and right click. I will import the geometry of piston assembly. Next I will go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry. I'll suppress the wrist pin, the snap ring one and two. Then I'll go to the bottom rod and I'll allocate the material as aluminum alloy to the connecting rod and the piston as well. Next, I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to steady state thermal and I'll right click and insert convection on the top surface I'll insert the film coefficient as 5 E minus 4 and I'll give the ambient temperature as 300 degrees Celsius Next on this internal surface, I will insert convection. The film coefficient is 700E minus 6 and the temperature is 250 degrees Celsius. Next, I will insert convection again on the rest of the surfaces. I will give film coefficient as 700 E minus 6 and the temperature as 110. Next on the outer surface, I'll insert convection. Film coefficient is 500. E minus 6 and the temperature is 150. Next, I will hide the piston and on the inner eye of connecting rod, I will insert temperature of say. 250 degrees Celsius and on the other surfaces I will insert convection
I'll insert convection of 0.002 watt per mm square degree Celsius and I'll give the ambient temperature as 40 degrees Celsius. Now you can see here the piston is hidden. So I will just show body. So all these boundary conditions have been given now. I'll go to solution and insert thermal temperature. Also, I'll insert thermal total heat flux. Now I'll go to solution and solve. We'll first see the result of temperature over this body. You can see the maximum temperature is 250 degrees Celsius and minimum is 40.011 and this is the heat distribution over the body. If you go to this option and click on no wireframe, you can see the body only and no meshes on it. You can animate and see the change of temperature over the entire piston assembly. Next, I'll go to total heat flux. The value of heat flux over the body is 1.6985 watt per mm square. This is the maximum value. The minimum value is here 6.36 into 10 raised to minus 6 watt per mm square. So, this minimum value is what is applied throughout the body, and in certain cases, you can see that the value has changed, and from the color, you can associate the values here. If you find it difficult to associate the color and the value, you can just use the probe option and click on a particular color. You will get the value of heat flux at that point. So in that way, you can also see the result. Now suppose if you have got the result here and you don't want to see it on the screen, just right click on it and delete all. Such that the probes that you have created will now be deleted. But you are still not out of the probe option as you can see when I scroll my mouse over the body I can still see this option so just click on probe once again so that the option disappears. You can also click on max and min so that you can know that where is the value of heat flux more and where it is the least over the body. If you don't want to see those options again you can just click on max min once again. So this is how you analyze a piston assembly for its thermal analysis. This is steady state thermal analysis. This is not dependent on time. So your factors are very much constant with respect to time. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a piston assembly. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.